Uh, so I decided to join a, another uh, game jam. Uh, this game jam is the Dream Jam 5. It is a Yumi Naki game jam, which involves fan games uh, whatsoever. Submission type, traditional, uh, fan game. Of the uh, setting, so like uh, uh, characters and stuff from the game. Uh, an update on a previous submission. So I'm not gonna lie, I've not played uh, this game. Uh, I I did do a lot of research on it. Uh, it's currently ten in the morning. So, this game gym runs from the 15th, which is in a few days, to, uh, to the 26th. It is a six-week jam, if I remember. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you can plan all you like for the jam, but refrain from work on assets, coding, until the until the, until it actually begins, concept art and code slash script experimenting practice is okay. So with that <clears throat> giving me the A okay, I did a little bit of a uh, planning for the game. <clears throat> uh, late entries will be accepted to seven days. Uh, you must contact one of the jam the jam admins. Uh, you can work by yourself or a team. You can make an entry as many entries as you want. Commissioning assets from others is also acceptable. Your fan game can be any genre you want. It doesn't have to follow. It doesn't have to be horror. You you can also make it in an, any engine you want. Sorry about that. Just do what you feel comfortable. Stealing assets from other fan games is unacceptable and will result in, a, in being banned from the jam. Uh, avoid using recoloring or assets from the game using sprites uh, as a base isn't the worst offense but taking from a uh, yeah he values the original uh, originality of your own fan game so everything's going to be made from scratch for me uh, please do not use assets from dream diary it's a commercial game and we don't want your work will be taken down for copyright violations. Mods of other games are not acceptable submissions. This gem is about creating your own. Please keep uh, ex ex explic yeah, yeah, pretty much uh, like low. Be nice and have fun. Those are the rules and regulations of the gem. Completion. So the one I'm going to be completing is this one. The tradi uh, tra uh, traditional... Yumi no Ki fan game. If you want a good idea of what makes a uh, Yumi Naki get for fan game, you can be as experimental as you want, so long as you keep within the boundaries of a traditional one. For example, the last vision of Flesh Child would not be acceptable here. There's no def de de defined measurement for a release demo. But be, sh uh, be sure to aim to at least two main dream worlds, or nexus worlds, at least six worlds to explore from there. Uh, three effects, two events, you could aim for as many worlds as you want, of course, this is just a minimum standard. Uh, that's my recording. So, I kind of went overboard with this a little bit. So, to get into a little bit of a... It is going to be called Sleepless Minds. Uh, let me just... Uh, I, I'm probably going to hide that. All this in uh, editing. So, the areas I plan on putting in is a school, a park, big house, graveyard, forest, graveyard... A cave, shadow place, and hospital. But the big difference is, is the shadow place is going to be a separate, like, nexus or world or whatever. That's separate from these. Uh, kind of think of it as, like, the dream place. Uh, 
It is a shadow version of each of these areas. Uh, which I... I got that. Three effects, I have not planned the effects yet. And two events, I have not thought of any events I could put in it. So this is the gist of some inspiration. I can click check. You can check out these uh, other jams. But what I want to show off is that I actually did do a little bit of research here on effects. And there's this. This is from the same people that's doing the, uh, as you can tell. Uh, but with this... What makes a Yumi no Ki fan game? I think a fan game needs at least three of these to be considered a fan game. Collecting items to progress. The main character has to be collecting a set of items to complete the game. This can either be effects, orbs, or any other item the player has to look for. The objects could either do things or be meaningless. It's up to the developer. Most games do things or be meaningless. Wait. Oh, wait here. Uh, <laughs> uh, most games keep get kept keep it to effects, but others like LCD Beam and me uh, have the player collecting orbs. In addition, uh, Mew had a robot collecting parts for its spaceship. Open world connected by Nexus. Uh, there has to be a network of worlds you can explore via a hallway or doors, which is the which is going to be the beginning part of the game. Uh, not uh, not all of it has to be open to the player to explore straight away. So, I'm actually having every area unlocked prematurely before. There's going to be two. The Shadow Place and the Hospital, which is the two places that will not be accessed until later on, until you get certain items. Uh, when you, okay. Uh, but eventually most areas should be a skip, hop, and jump away from the main nexus. Uh, has a nexus that grows when you find certain events. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I, so yeah, let's uh, continue. Focus, focus on exploration and atmosphere. Reaching every single area there is to reach should be something the player should feel compelled to do. Taking time and enjoying the atmosphere and environment the player goes through. Yeah, uh, I, I, I can do that. I, I do okay environments. That's mostly what my games are. Uh, a, a divide between the normal and abnormal. The real world and the dream world. Our world to the spirit world, our world to another, okay. A spaceship teleports a player to a planet. Just some kind of marked separation between normality and w wacky wackiness. That's going to be kind of cut off. This right here might be a challenge for this story. But I think I can do it. Or this might not even be part of it. Because it says at least three of these. Weirdness. Fans of the genre likes to traverse areas they'll never see in real life. Go for the fan uh, fantastic, the strange, the surreal. You can even go normal fantasy or sci-fi as long as you have the wide ver uh, variety of stuff to explore. All these, okay. Uh, the next things are common elements. Chasers. So being chased through areas, which I have planned. Uh, atmosphere core. That's all I can do. A troubled protagonist. I got that. A random event like uh, Ubo finding the bed that leads to Miranda's spaceship. I think I can do that. I don't have I don't have anything planned. Maybe minimum to no dialogue. Easy effects, which is. Uh, these things which do either nothing or something like cosmetic stuff or things that actually has a use like uh become small shrink in size midget pa uh, can fit through certain small entrances i think i can do that dream traversing 
I got that. <laughs> a, a vague puzzle piece plot where you have to put together the pieces to understand what's going on. That is the entire game. <laughs> no plot, just mood. I, I'm skipping this. This... <laughs> This actually is going to have kind of a plot, even though it says no plot. Again, these are things that are common elements throughout the games, uh, but don't make the game by itself. Uh, ultimately, it's up to you uh, put in your fan game since it's a... So, like I said, I've not played this game before, but I've actually looked up quite a bit. It actually did look like a fun game, and... Uh, I had a page up that, uh, right here, welcome to Kamu's Red Coat Classic RPG Maker 2003. That is my games. I, I only make RPG Maker 2003 games, besides this Doom game, and then this M XP to MV, uh, tile set, not tile set, uh, icons I made. Even though XP doesn't use icons, I still made them for XP. But, yeah. This is going to be what my next project is. I really don't want to show off much. That is not it. That has to get blurred. So, let me... I have the items, endings, notes I did... Areas. I'm going to show this off a bit. So, there's the school with all of its areas. The park with all of it. Big house. Graveyard. Uh, forest graveyard. Cave. Shadow place. Hospital. No plans yet. And, as you see, I was starting on the uh, effects. But, this is all I got planned. I've only been working on this for like a few hours. Uh... Because I, it even said that we are allowed to plan before the jam, w but I just can't work on assets. Pretty much, I, I can do concept art, but I'm pr probably not because I don't. I opened the wrong thing again. That needs to get blurred. Uh, but this is pretty much all I have done. Hmm.